why on earth am I making a video about saxophone chairs? Well, here's the thing. If you struggle with neck pain or back pain as a saxophone player, it's a really big issue. In fact, it could stop you playing saxophone altogether. I hear this actually a lot from my sax school community. We've got thousands of adult learners, and a lot of them have problems with their neck and with their back. So in today's video, I'm checking out this new product called the Sax Seat. Now, I think this could be an answer for players who struggle with neck pain and back issues. So today we're going to check it out. I'm going to show you what it's all about. So together we can find out whether this might be the ultimate chair for saxophone players. Hey, if you enjoy videos like this where I'm testing out saxophone gear, then make sure you give me a thumbs up, share the video with your friends as well. That would really help me. And if you are new here, don't forget to hit subscribe so you find out about future videos as well. Okay, let's dig in. G'day, Nigel here from McGill Music Sax School. Hey, thanks so much for joining me on one of these videos. Now, today's topic is really, really important to me because as I mentioned at the start, in amongst our community of learners in Sax School, and we've got thousands of learners all around the world, they're all adult learners, and it's almost every week that I'm hearing from somebody who's had surgery on their back, or has got a neck issue, or some other issue in their body that's causing them a lot of grief when it, goes to playing, when it comes to playing the saxophone. It's a serious problem, and I really want to find a solution, and I've tried all sorts of different things myself. I don't really have any problems with neck pain, but I find as I'm getting older, I do get more sore, particularly when I'm playing my baritone for long periods of time. So it's something I'm thinking about all the time. And I think for all of us as saxophone players, we need to be conscious about this so that we can make sure that we're able to play for a really long time. Now, I first heard about the sax seat through one of my sax school members who had seen the Kickstarter campaign for this. So the sax seat was released on a Kickstarter campaign. Actually, pretty exciting. They did achieve their target with a Kickstarter campaign. So these things are going into production and they're going to be available in January next year. Now, the guy that developed the sax seat is a guy called Kostas Ephesopoulos in Cyprus. And the original idea was to create a seat that helps saxophone players to have better posture when they're playing in a seated position. Because, you know, we all tend to slouch a little bit when we're playing, and it's really bad for our diaphragm and our air support. So the idea is you've got a, a really sturdy seat. It's basically a drum throne, so a really sturdy seat, backrest. But this is the innovative part. So we've got an arm coming out here with a pad that you can rest the bottom of your saxophone on. Let me show you. Okay, so when I sit on the sax seat, I've got this arm that supports the bottom of the saxophone and the weight of it. And I can adjust this up and down to get it to just the right height for me. And actually the base of the seat also adjusts up and down. But then when I'm playing, if I've got the height right, the saxophone goes straight in my mouth and I've got no weight on my neck at all. Now I'm using the neck strap, but to be honest with you, I could not use the neck strap at all. I'm just play like this. Now I guess you could still use your neck strap just to give you that little bit of peace of mind and I guess some um, security for when you are playing so that you don't have to think about holding the saxophone with your embouchure and your thumbs as much. And the other thing you can do is you can slide this arm around to the side and then play your saxophone on the side. Same principle, so the saxophone's resting on there. It'd be great if you're playing in a stage band, a concert band, something like that. <laughs> Now for me, I was most curious to see how the sax seat would help me when I'm playing baritone sax. So let's go check that out. Now I'm gonna to have to adjust the arm so that the barrier is at the right height for me. So down here we've got a little adjusting screw and you can lower the height of the arm like this. You can change the angle of the pad. You can even move the pad in and out. Let's try that. Okay, that's more comfy. <laughs> Okay, really cool. So I can play the Barry Sax now with no weight on my neck strap at all. That is really, really exciting. Hey, do you like that? That's a new arrangement that we've been working on 
for sax school with Fred Victor from Average White Band. He's one of our sax school team as well. And together we're working on that arrangement for a monthly project inside the sax school members area. If you remember, you can go check that out inside sax school. I've got some negatives and some final thoughts for you in a second. But first, let me know in a comment if you would consider using a product like the sax seat or if you use some other thing apart from a neck strap to help you with a back problem or a neck problem. I'd really like to know. So let me know in a comment down below. OK, so we need to talk about some negative points as well. I do really like the sax seat. But first of all, the price. It's not cheap. This is about 260 euros, which is about 310 US dollars around about 240 pounds, depending on the exchange rate. So it's quite an expensive chair. It's an expensive piece of kit. However, if something like the sax seat means that you can actually play the saxophone, then that's a pretty small price to pay, in my opinion. Also, it's really well made. I mean, this is a prototype, but it is super sturdy. You know, this is going to last you for years and years. So if you think about it, I guess if you're going to get 20 years use out of it, that's probably pretty cost effective piece of equipment. Now on the fact that it's sturdy, the other negative about this is it is quite heavy. This weighs about 10 kilograms, which is about 22 pounds. So if you're lugging this to and from a band rehearsal or to concerts, then you know, it's heavy and it's hefty and it's going to take a little bit of extra, to, extra effort to move it around. But it does pack down. Let me show you. Now I think this is based on a drum stool. And of course, drum stools are designed to be packed down and moved all the time too. So there's a lot of familiar parts on here that you'll recognize from your traps case. Um, the base folds up like this. And then this extending arm folds down. So even without going any further, you've got something that's reasonably compact, but it is heavy. So there you go, that's the sax seat. I'm really impressed with it. I think it's a fantastic, well-built piece of kit. And if you have an issue with your neck or your back that's holding you back with saxophone, then this, I think, is a great solution that's going to make playing a lot easier. Yes, you do have the issue of the weight and being able to move it to and from places, but it's going to mean that you're always comfortable wherever you play. And more importantly, it may open those doors so you are actually able to play. Would I buy one of these? Possibly. I think if I was doing a lot of Barry Sax playing, uh, then I would definitely look at something like this because it's going to make Barry Sax a lot more comfortable for me. I really do struggle with the normal neck strap, um, and this would solve the problem with the weight on my neck. Now, I know this is available for pre orders at the moment. I think they're making them available from, from January next year, 2021. But uh, let me know in a comment if you. If you found this useful and if you already have tried one of these or if you're interested in checking one out, I'm curious to see amongst my saxical community uh, what happens with this because I think there's going to be quite a lot of members who start using this product. Now, as always, if you want to find out more about what I do with Sax School, then go check us out at mcgillmusic.com. As I mentioned, we've got thousands and thousands of learners who use our lessons every single day from all around the world. And these are players of all levels too, from beginners right through to people who are recording albums and out playing professionally, doing gigs. So there's a whole range of players in there and a whole range of courses and lessons to help you at whatever level that you're at. So you can check it out with a 14-day trial. As I'm filming this, we have a 14-day free trial running at Sax School. That means you can go check it out and see if it's right for you too. I'd love to see you in there and help you. So thanks for watching. Uh, keep practicing hard. I'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.